Hey everybody, Mary Z back once again for Voice Hacks. It's really great to be back again today, you guys. I am really excited about today's video. So you can see behind me, I've got Pro Tools open. I have a really cool video here today, unlike any other video that I've made before. I always usually take a look at a vocal analysis or a reaction video by looking at a stereo uh, track with an official music video, a final finished product. But what do the vocals sound like before they get to that stage? Well, today I have the opportunity to show you. So I was really lucky and we're going to take a look at the Tunisian metal band, Mirath. Um, for those of you who don't, don't know where Tunisia is, it is in North Africa, but it's a Mediterranean country on the other side of the Mediterranean from Europe. And this particular metal band, Mirath, they have a new album out. We're going to be taking a look at a song from their new record. And this song is called Monster in My Closet. What is so great is that the keyboard player and producer, Kevin, was able to give me, send me, thank you very much, Kevin the stems, some groupings of tracks, including the vocals. And we're going to be able to solo them out and listen to them. Listen to Zahir Zorgati. That's the vocalist of Mirath we're going to be listening to today. So we're going to listen to them with the mix and without. And you're actually going to get to take a look at what he sounds like pretty much on his own. And what's really cool about this band and why I chose to do a video on Mirath is Zahir is an amazing vocalist. He's a tenor. What's really unique about Zahir that you're not going to find in many other artists is that he he culturally ties in his vocals with indigenous sounds from the Berber people of his culture. And so he uses Berber inflections, Eastern scales, and quarter step tones when he sings in this metal music, this Western music. He also uses blues and regular rock inflections, and he also sings with distortion. So it's really amazing what he does, that he can do all three of these things. What's interesting is I talked to the producer, Kevin, a little bit about how Zahair's quarter step tunings and the instruments go together. And we're going to get into that a little bit more as we look at the tracks. So let's just jump right into it, guys. Let's go back here. Let's take a look at the tracks and let's see what the vocals sound like for this song. I'm really excited to bring you this unique opportunity. Let's go look. For those of you that are noobs to recording, you have to realize that when people record nowadays, they record everything track by track, one instrument at a time, typically. They don't all record at once. And so everything, when you have it recorded in the studio, is in a separate layer, a separate track that you can play and you can isolate. Well, what's really neat is that I can solo out the vocals when given these tracks to take a look at here. And we're going to listen to it. Let's let's take a look at a little bit of this song, a verse and a chorus, with the instrument. Instruments. Let's hear how the song Monster in My Closet actually sounds, and then we're going to solo out the vocals. What's interesting is there was actually a lot more tracks than what you see here on the screen when they actually recorded it, um, and Kevin was kind enough to put them all into condensed stems, which means all the guitars are just in one stereo track for me. All the vocals are in another, etc. So everything is condensed so I could just isolate the vocals by themselves, but realize there was way more instrumental tracks than you're seeing here. Uh, but I'm not a mixer. I'm not a producer. I really didn't need those. I just wanted to be able to solo out the vocals. So let's hear it. Let's hear it all together first. So this is the song Monster in My Closet. Let's take a look at Zahair's vocals on this song a little bit with everything. Right, guys I really love that guitar riff after the after the chorus by the way that's really catchy that's a nice little hook in the instruments so that gives you the idea of what Zahir sounds like he's a tenor but he's a real robust tenor he's a good belter he likes to put distortion on there and so we did hear there some 
quarter step inflections on the word mind kind of in some of some cases and we also heard um some really cool blues kind of with distortion uh so kind of things i don't think i sang the right notes there but you guys get the idea so let's solo it and let's actually hear his vocals this is the first time i've ever been able to do this on this channel and i hope to do this in the future with other bands who are kind enough to let me have their stems so let's take a look here um First, we're just gonna we're gonna A B it. Let's play it with. Let's listen to the little bit of the verse. It crawls at night in the dark, whispers pain into my mind. My guilty thoughts are going back. Consuming my soul alive. So, some of the places where we hear him using alternate tunings for again for those of you that are noobs and you're you're kind of watching this more of a point of interest and you're not a musician you have to understand that what we call western scales and eastern scales although in this case it's really not east and west it's just sort of north of the mediterranean and south of the mediterranean we regard western scales as having more space in between the notes so more space in between the frequencies that we call notes of a certain scale and that means that when we go to other scales in other countries particularly arabic cultures and other eastern cultures we see closer tones that are, have less space in between them and what's fascinating is you actually have to be a much more accurate singer to sing eastern scales or to do berber inflections like what zahir is doing occasionally in this song he really does it on the i words i but i'm not actually singing it right because there are quarter tones in there and i'm singing actual western tones if i try to Im imitate it and it's almost hard to hear but you can hear it it's kind of like where you feel like it's not quite in the center of the pitch well in actuality it is a quarter step pitch it's not a western pitch at all so this isn't something you can throw auto tune on it would completely ruin the scalar movement and what's amazing is the chorus we go back to straight like almost like european rock pop rock and then we also get these distorted voice with distortion blues he places his distortion perfectly but let's go back and listen to some of those eastern inflections a little bit i want you to hear what i'm talking about again we'll solo it out again so here is everything together it calls at night in the dark whispers pain into my mind the part right there on mind this is where we hear like a little bit of scalar influence from other cultures and what was cool was when i talked to kevin about this song this song is in the tuning of drop d the guitars are tuned in drop d but they are playing it in the key of a and so um it is played in western tunings you can hear though in a lot of the riffs and a lot of the string parts we're doing things to bend the strings to also give it more eastern inflections kevin did mention when i spoke to him about the song that sometimes in the studio they will make really accurate tunings and adjust things to match uh zahir's berber inflections but that live it's pretty tough but what's beautiful about strings is they can be bent and with a keyboard we can have a pitch wheel right and so we can kind of do some of these things so let's listen now to his bluesy stuff and his distorted stuff because i really feel like the end of the chorus he is really good at uh putting some rasp and distortion on it so let's take a look here um first we'll start like usual with everything together That was great. Let's listen to that again. After they fed overnight, it's consuming my life, burning deep in my soul. Perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Perfect blues run going down. Perfect soft palette distortion going on there. Just absolutely perfect. So there are a lot of things that the Zahir is doing technically correct here. He's a great belter. He sings with a neutral larynx. And he is extremely accurate with his tuning because he grew up listening to scales with closer steps. People who 
develop the cognitive ability at a young age to sing in Eastern scales based on growing up in that culture, listening to these type of scales, um, will naturally be more accurate singers. Because in Western music, when our notes are a little bit farther apart, we can vary our tuning by a lot. And it still sort of sounds in tune to people. I hear many singers sing like quarter step sharp and all these things live. In an Eastern scale, this would actually be the wrong note. So it he has to be an incredible incredibly accurate singer. And I would be very hard pressed to say that anybody who didn't grow up with these scales could learn them. I'm not really sure that I've ever known many people who've studied Western music and grown up in Western culture that were then able to learn Arabic scales or Indian scales, things that have quarter tone inflections. When I spoke to Kevin about this song, he said that oftentimes Zahara prefers to do Berber things in Arabic because the language itself is tied to the accuracy of the tonality. So it's these are things that you really have to grow up with and they have to be part of your culture. But it's amazing because then he also has this flexibility to do these sort of Western blues runs. And it's unbelievable. And distortion is clearly like a Western rock thing as well. So he really infuses them. Let's end the video here, guys. I just want to thank Mirath for letting me have these tracks. So, so, so awesome. I hope that I can bring you more videos like these because they're so much better than a regular analysis video. I mean, you get to hear the vocal tracks. How cool is that? So let's listen to the end of the last chorus on our way out. I'll do some A being and some soloing. We will leave you with that. Mirath's new record. Check it out. Thanks, everybody, for checking this band out. And if you want to know more about them, check them out on Spotify. They've got a couple of videos out. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you soon. After they fed overnight, it's consuming my life, burning deep in my soul.